It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing the Fraley family. Max, Jan, Vicky, Pam, and Stephanie ready for action. And the Green family. Audrey, Janet, Doug, Susie, and Rex. On your marks, let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Thank you very much. Wow. Oh, that's a lovely welcome. I thank you. All our friends all over the country, I welcome you. I promised I would say hello to Melissa Drew Douglas from Houston, Texas. She's ten and a half months old. And I... Can you get a little picture of her there? She's watching our show, isn't she, darling? I love you. Also, another thing. We had a question, I think, that played on the 31st of March which was said, uh, name something, an animal, you'd expect to see in Alaska. And the family over here struck out, and the other family said penguins, and they got the money because penguins was up there. And we've had a lot of letters, and this is a very nice letter from Thomas E. Griswold, Jr. He's from Louisville, Texas. You know, and he's given me the whole Encyclopedia uh, Britannica. They're only found in the Southern Hemisphere penguins aren't found up, you know, in Alaska. See, but I didn't know that, and that when we polled those people, I think it was 17 people, that was the answer up there, really thought they'd expect to see it, penguins there. So that's how come it made the poll. Now, it isn't anything to do with our researchers or myself. And the other question I have, someone got very upset about, you know, I do jokes about Billy Carter drinking, and I know Billy Carter is what we call a light drinker. The moment it gets light, Billy starts drinking. Here's our winning family, the Fraley's. We welcome you. Thank you, Richard. How you doing? Real good. Good. This is a nice family. You've won $1,179. That's right. right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Tell me all about these nice people, Max. Richard, this is my wife, Janet, and my daughters, Vicki, Pam, and Stephanie. They're so pretty. Thank you very much. Now, you uh, are you at school? Yes, I'm a high school counselor, Richard, in Long Beach. And do you do... Uh... Basketball coaching. That's right. I remember the handshake. <laughs> How long have you been doing that? Uh, 19 years. And what school is it? Uh, it's Wilson High School. Okay. Woodrow Wilson High School. Say hi to all your students there. Okay? Hi, Bruins. <laughs> oh, that's right. How are you? I'm fine. You're looking gorgeous. Thank you. Are Thank you excited? You. Uh, my, very much so, <laughs> as you can tell. No, no, yeah. all the butterflies are gone, aren't no, they? No, they're gone. Yeah. They're gone. Now you have more than these three babes, don't you? Yes, we have two sons. Uh, one is in the audience tonight. Patrick, His name is Patrick. Patrick. And we have one son at home, Sean. How old is Sean? He's seven. Seven. They'll be home soon. Right. <laughs> Little Vicky. Hi, Richie. How are you? Fine. How are you? What do you do, Vicky? I work for an insurance company. I'm a good neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> We're in good hands. Hi, little Pam. Hi. You're so gorgeous. Yeah, Tell me about thank you. Thank you. Well, I also work with my sister in the same insurance company, and I just graduated from a junior college with an air flight service degree. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do you have a boyfriend? No, not yet. Oh, that's Gives me good. something to look forward to. Well, I think you're so cute. You'll have no difficulty at all. Stephanie, my flower, tell me about you. Well, I'm a junior at Marina High School, and I just made varsity cheerleader for next year. Oh, that's right. You cheered for us the last time. Yeah. <laughs> rah, rah, rah. Here's the family going to get rid of you. Called the Green family. Hi, Walter. Thank you. How you doing? Fine. Who have you got here, Audrey? I've got my daughter, Janet, my son, Doug, Doug's wife, Susie, and my son, Rex. Handsome family. Thank you. Where do you live? In Long Beach. Long Beach. Near the Queen Mary? Not real near. Have you been there? Yes. That's a kind of nice trip, isn't it? Mm-hmm. They make a lot of money? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it is pretty. It is nice. Uh -huh. Well, you nice have the Grand at... Prix there, Oh, too, yes, and that's time. exciting. You like that? Very much. Okay. How you doing, Janet? Fine, thanks. Tell me something about you. Well, I'm a store detective for Bullocks. <laughs> My goodness me. Are you? Yeah, I arrest them. <laughs> Do you? You yes. put the bracelets on them? Uh, only if they get violent. My goodness. Bullets. What part? What, which one? So the I one in Lakewood. Better not go near no, here. No, no. I, no, I'm going to change my shopping. 
<laughs> so what do you do? Tell me. Do you look around? I just walk around like I'm a regular shopper, and I see them take things, and do, I... Now, every day something happens? Not really, because it's not that good a year. I mean, good time of year. <laughs> Wait a minute. Good time of year. Were you an ex-shoplifter? How would you know what a good time of year is here? Well, it's right after Christmas, so there's a lull in business. I so see, I see. You know, this family is really going to try and get ready for you. Yeah, um, I know Mr. Fraley. He was my counselor in my junior high school. You're putting me on. Wasn't he your basketball you know them? coach? <laughs> see, hi. Was he a good counselor? Yeah, he was really nice. Did Everybody he give you good him. advice? Well, I'm a store detective. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be ironic if you're not going to... Did, do you know Mr. Fraley? Yeah, he was my basketball coach, and uh, <laughs> I, uh, I thought he was uh, always wrong. He sat me on the end of the bench, okay. and I uh, didn't like that. No? No, not at all. Did you play much? Not at all. <laughs> well, maybe he knew something that would be. You know Mr. Fraley? i never seen him before. Well, <laughs> how you doing? Fine. Tell me something you. about Susan. I work at uh, Holiday Health Spa, and I teach ladies what exercises to do to get them physically fit. Well, did you... See, he would have been ideal to study with because he teaches all of that, doesn't he, Phys Ed? But he's not a woman. <laughs> no, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> now, did you get involved with the rascal over there? Yeah, he was my junior high school uh, physical education teacher. Was he a good teacher? Uh, he was pretty good. Are you going to wipe him out if you can? We're going to beat the tar out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I wish both families the best of luck. Come on. Let's play the face off. Did you know him? This is kind of fun, then. Yeah. You didn't know they were going to be on the show? No. Huh? All righty. And we surveyed 100 people. The top six answers are on the board. You know your job is to try and find the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name something you pluck. Audrey. Chicken. Chicken, said Audrey. Show us chicken. Wow, 61 people said it. There's $61 there. There's no way you can beat it. That's the number one answer. Now, make a decision. Are you going to play, or are you going to make Max's family pass. play? I think we pass. pass. I think we pass. 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 We'll pass it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Rejoin your family. Oh, they're getting back mm. for all those things you did there. Jan, something you pluck, please. Um, turkey. Turkey. All right, bird and feathers is there, but we'll see. Show us turkey. Oh. Not there. See, I think birds probably mean all of them. That's your first strike, and two more strikes, you lose control of this question. The Green family have a chance to steal. Vicky, something you pluck. Eyebrows. Good answer. Got to be there, hasn't it? Eyebrows! There! Twenty-seven people sent, there's $88 in the bank. Pam, something you pluck. Do you pluck corn? <laughs> it sounds, I don't know. <laughs> Give me pluck corn and everything. Yeah, yeah. Give me pluck corn and everything. I think so. I think so. I hope so. We're going to take a look. Listen, if penguins could be in Alaska, yeah. I'm sure you can pluck corn. <laughs> Show us corn. No, you can't do it. It's not there. I'm Stephanie, up to you now. Uh, let's see. Um, Something you pluck. Three seconds. Wings. <laughs> what did you say? Wings. It's you said wings. <laughs> well, you know, it might be up there, so we'll take a look. They do that, you know, when they disarm soldiers or people who oh, behave yeah. badly and <laughs> rip the wings off. That'll be there like corn. Anyway, show us wings. <laughs> Not there. Now your strategy could work. Well, Talk it over. Guitar, a, guitar, a, guitar, a guitar, a bass, a guitar string. What do you say, Audrey? Guitar. Guitar. You know, Strings like, on a guitar, yeah, sure. okay? Uh, if it's there, your strategy will just yeah, work so yeah. well because you made them strike out. Max is smiling. I think he'd bench the whole family if uh, he had his way at the moment. Guitar strings there, you take $88 and a commanding lead. If it's not there, the Fraley's get to keep the money. We're looking for guitar strings. <laughs> you got it. Number four. Flower. Number five. Hey, no. And number six. Hey. Oh, my goodness me, they've got $88. You've got to get on the board. Will they do it? We'll know right after we pluck this. 
Well, the Greens came to play, and they have $88. There's nothing but they got gay. Come on, darling. Come on, little Janet. Jan and Janet. Is your name Jan Janet? Just, oh, it is Janet. It is Janet. Right. Oh, Janet, Shortened Janet. Janet. <laughs> All right. We're going to play this now, and we surveyed 100 people. Top six answers are on the board to this question. Name an animal that begins with the letter M. Janet. Monkey. Show us a monkey. They do it every time here. What are you going to do, my love? I think we should play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. We'll pass. Going to pass. Go back. We'll see if that strategy works. Most unusual call there. Vicky, I need an animal that begins with the letter M. Moose. 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 Okay. Show us a moose. It's there, 13 people. $73, good girl. Pam, you tell me, an animal that begins with the letter M, four answers remaining. Muskrat. Ah, yes, they ramble a great deal, don't they? <laughs> Take a look for a muskrat. It's there. Good. Stephanie. They pass to you, and you can just fool them by getting them all. <laughs> a mouse. Why not? Are you afraid of them? No. I'm terrified. Of no, I'm not. I really am. I don't know why, because they can't they're possibly so hurt me. My son's kept them once. Ooh, in my PJs. We're looking for a mouse. Oh. Good job. Ninety-three dollars. Oh, you're proud of your ladies, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, they, They're plotting over here, but maybe they're going to rule the day that Janet decided to pass. I need an animal that begins with the letter M. Two answers remaining. Mule. Mule. Yeah. Let's mule. take a look. Stubborn as a mule. Woo! Beautiful. That's the way to play the game. One answer left. Jan, you can do it. Oh. Animal that begins with the letter M. Three seconds. Moth. A moth. <laughs> That's not an okay. animal, but... I'm going to walk my moth a little later. <laughs> Let's see if he's there, a oh, moth. <laughs> Not there, that's your first strike. The key. Animal that begins with the letter M. Meese. <laughs> Meese? As in many mice. Right. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see if they got two lots of votes. I don't know, Meese. Oh. Not there. Pam, you can do it, or that strategy of the Green families can pay off mm -hmm. right now. I want an animal that begins with the letter M. Is there a mongrel? A mongrel? A that's a Mo dog, yeah. A dog whose mom and dad <laughs> weren't too choosy about this. Right? <laughs> we'll see. If mongrel's there, it's a clean sweep. You get all the money, and if it's not there, Greens get a chance to steal. Looking for a mongrel? Oh. Right now, you can do it. Make mongoose. it pay off. Mongoose. 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 Mongoose.
All right, Doug, go back there. They're going to play, trying to do the little strategy on you. Pam, someone named Pearl. Minnie Pearl? Minnie Pearl, let's see. I love her. Minnie Pearl. She's there. There's $192 there. Two answers left. Stephanie. Pearl Adams? Pearl Adams. That sounds familiar. Sure. <laughs> the Pearl Adams? I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, so many people we forget so easily. Let's see if she made our survey. Pearl Adams. Oh. Not there, darling. That's your first strike. Max, someone named Pearl. Pearl Buck. Pearl Buck, oh yeah, with the good earth. Right. What she wrote, marvelous writer. Pearl Buck! <laughs> Beautiful. One answer left, you can do it, darling. Remain a winning family. Someone oh. named Pearl. Three seconds. Oh, dear. Second no. strike, Vicky, up to you, or they get a chance to steal. Someone named Pearl. Three seconds. Joan Pearl. Joan Pearl, right, <laughs> friend of well. Pearl. Adams. <laughs> if it's there, it's clean sweep. If not, Green's got a chance to steal Joan Pearl. Oh. Right now, you can do it. Don't whisper, because whatever you like. Pearly Mae. Pearly Mae. Pearly Mae. Pearly Mae. I don't know any others. Pearly Mae. Need an answer. Pearly Mae. Pearly Mae. <laughs> Isn't that the, from this cartoon strip? I don't know. Is that Pearly Mae? <laughs> I don't know. There's also, oh, you know, oh. Pearl Bailey's up there. Pearly Mae is there. You are the new winning family. If not, the champs remain the Fraley. Show us Pearly Mae! <laughs> You've got it! <laughs> yes, you got it. They used all the early ones here. Number four. Ah, Beverly Hillbillies. That's it. I thank you for being here. Have nice prizes for all of you. God, take care. They did it, didn't they? Bye. Who play fast money? Come on. Who's going first? You are? Please go there. I'll stay here with Vicky. We'll watch this and see if they can win $5,000. She was in the... Well, I'm here with Vicki and her sister. Pam's off stage, has the earphones on, can't hear anything. We're going to play Fast Money. Right. You know how we do it. I ask you five questions. You give me five answers in 15 seconds. Try and think of the most popular answer. If you and your sister get 200 points, what are we going to do? We're going to win money. $5,000. That's what you're going to get. 15 seconds on the clock, play. want you to speak up okay. nice and loudly so we hear your answers. Name something people do to get ready for Christmas. Shop. A food served at cocktail parties. Hors d'oeuvres. A state with wide open spaces. Texas. Something you do to an egg. Crack it. An instant hot drink. Coffee. There you go. It's marvelous. You just did it so well. Turn around. Let's see how well you did with the survey. The last time we played, you went second, right? Right. It's a little easier first, because yes. you don't duplicate anything, all right? Name something people do to get ready for Christmas. We asked, you said, shop. Our survey said, 38. That's a good way to start. Then a food served at cocktail parties. You said, hors d'oeuvres. Our survey said, 27. You claim well. A state with wide open spaces. You said, Texas. Our survey said, 45. You got 110. Something you do to an egg. You said, crack it. It's the only way you can get to them, isn't it? Right. Our survey said, six. You got 116. And then we wanted an instant hot drink. You said, Coffee, it's cheaper to drink money, you know. <laughs> Our survey said 39. Oh, you are fantastic. Clear the board, please. You are so marvelous. Ooh, go on back there. All right, let's give her a nice hand. Here's Pam. Look at that. Isn't that marvelous? Great. That's your sister. Don't want you to look around anymore. Stand right there. She's just so good. She got 155. You need 45 points, that's all, and you'll be $5,000 richer. Love I'm going to ask you the same questions I asked Vicki. You cannot duplicate her answers. If you do, you hear this. 
I'll say try again. Now, you know she gave us great answers. Right. Remind everyone, please, all of the answers Vicky gave us, and give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name something people do to get ready for Christmas. Shopping. Try again. Buy trees. A food served at cocktail parties. Um, hors d'oeuvres. Try again. Um, pass. A state with wide open spaces. Montana. Something you do to an egg. Beat it. An instant hot drink. Hot cocoa. You got five. Turn around. You need 45 points. Name something you do, people do to get ready for Christmas. You said buy a tree. Our survey said 31. <laughs> Shop and buy gifts is the number one answer. 14 points away from $5,000. A food served at cocktail parties, hors d'oeuvres was the number one answer. You said pass, okay? Then we wanted a state with wide open spaces. 14 points away, you said Montana. Our survey said 10. <laughs> Texas was the number one answer. Something you do to an egg, you need four points. You said beat an egg, and our survey said you <laughs> More questions, more answers. Me, Garth Brooks. More contestants, more winners, more Regis. Is that your final answer? Who wants to be a millionaire with Regis Philbin? Tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, only on Game Show Network. Let's play. Lather to soften beers for a smooth, super comfortable shave, the Chick Hunt Lather Machine. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. I'm Mark Goodson, Bill Dugman.